a cable of span 100 meter as it has its ends at height 8 meter and 15 meter respectively above the lowest point of the cable. It carries a UDL of 10 kN per meter of horizontal span. Determine the horizontal and, horizontal and vertical reactions at the supports. And also determine the length of the cable. Here in this problem, the supports are at different levels. First support is 8 meter above the lowest level and second support 15 meter above the lowest level. Here in the diagram, this support is A. These are the support reactions. These are the support reactions VA and HA. Here, this height is H1 is 8 meter. A is 8 meter above the lowest point C. Then this point is B. These are the support reactions. Here B is 15 meter above the lowest point and is subjected to 10 kN per meter over the entire horizontal span. Here the horizontal distance between the supports A and B L equals that is 100 meter that has given. Here this is the lowest point. The distance between A and the lowest point is L1 and this distance is L2 and this is subjected to UDL of 10 kN per meter. Then by considering the moments of all the forces about A. First considering, consider left hand part. Considering LHS or left hand side left hand side to calculate support reaction here by considering moments of all the forces about A summation of summation of MA equals 0 here the left part the free body diagram of that part is here this one is H, this one is VA, this one is HA and this portion is subjected to UDL of this is the left part. Here the, there is at lowest point C there is no vertical shear then only the horizontal reaction is acting horizontal force is acting at point C. At A, V A and H A are the reactions. This one is L1. Then here by considering the equilibrium of this one and by taking the moments, this height is here A is 8 meter above the lowest point C then this equals H into 8 that one is anti-clockwise that one is anti-clockwise and due to the load that one is 10 kN per meter for the entire span that is 10 into total span is L1 into half of L1 the total load is 10 into L1 and it is acting at a distance of L1 by 2 from either end. Then this moment is clockwise. The summation of this one equals 0. Therefore, H equals H equals here we will get an equation that is 10 by 2 is 5 5 by 8 L1 square. This is equation number 1. Then similarly considering the right hand part considering RHS considering RHS the free body diagram of that part is here this one is the 
point C here this is subjected to UDL of 10 kilonewton per meter this one is L1 this distance is L2 this one is B this one is support reaction EB this one is H or HB both H and HB are equal then here the point B is 15 meter above the lowest point C this one is the freeboard diagram of the right portion here this one is 10 kilonewton per meter then here summation of MB equals 0 summation of MB equals 0 then you will get here at C already I told that there is no vertical shear there is only one force that is H then H into 15 H into 15 that one is here the moment to, to H that is clockwise then moment to, to this one that is 10 into this distance is L2 10 L2 square by 2 this equals 0 this one is this moment is anti-clockwise this moment is clockwise hence this is positive this is negative therefore H equals again you will get one more equation that is H equals this one is 5 divided by 15 5 divided by 15 L2 square this one is equation number 2 by equating these two that is by 1 and 2 by 1 and 2 both are same that is H then by 1 and 2 5 by 8 L1 square equals 5 by 15 5 by 15 L2 square or L1 equals L1 equals 5 5 get cancelled 8 divided by 15 root into L2 but L1 plus L2 equals but L1 plus L2 equals L1 plus L2 equals the total length is 100 100 meter therefore L1 equals L1 L2 equals 57.79 meters L1 equals L1 equals 42.020 meter that here by considering summation of phi phi equals 0 from LHS from left hand portion phi a equals w into l1 that 1 equals 10 into 42.20 that 1 equals 422.06 kilonewton then from RHS from RHS PB equals W into L2 W into L2 that one is 577.9 kilonewton then H equals H equals by substituting the value of PAR or by substituting the value of L1 or L2 
in any one of the equation then we will get h equals that is 5 by 8 l1 square l1 is just now we have calculated that is 42.20 whole square that one is h equals 1113.36 kilonewton here you have got the value of h then length of the cable length of cable length of cable is given by that is l plus two third of l1 h1 square by l1 plus two third of h2 square by l2 then that one equals 100 plus 100 plus two third of a square divided by 42.20 plus two third of 15 square divided by 57.79 then the length of cable L equals 103.609 meter this is the solution for the problem A cable of 20 meter length and a dip of h equals 4 meter carries carries a UDL of 20 kilonewton per meter over the entire span. Over the entire span, find find the maximum tension in the cable minimum tension in the cable and the length of the cable here both the supports are at same level the total length is 20 meter this one is a this one is b and is subjected to udl in addition to the support reaction you have to calculate the maximum tension minimum tension and the length of the cable first we have to calculate the support reactions the support reactions are phi a phi b and h here since the loading is symmetrical therefore phi a equals phi b equals half of the total load total load is w into l w is 20 l is 20 divided by 2 then this one equals 200 kilonewton both V A and V B are equal similarly H A equals H B equals by horizontal e equilibrium equation both are equal then to calculate H by taking moments of all the forces about the central dip C that equals 0 by considering either the left part or the right part here we will consider the left part then mc equals that is phi a into half of 20 that is 10 that is clockwise minus h into h that is 4 that one is anti clockwise this one is clockwise this one is 
anti clockwise then do to the applied load that is 20 into half of 20 is 10 into 5 that one is acting at a distance of 5 meter and the moment is in anti clockwise direction then this one equals 0 therefore h equals 1 over 4 pa is 200 into 10 minus 20 into 10 into 5 then this one equals 2000 this one is Two fifty kilonewton. Two fifty kilonewton. Then first one. Maximum tension. Maximum tension. Usually, the tension is maximum at supports. At supports, if the levels are, if the support level supports are at the same level, the maximum tension may be either at A or at B. Then the maximum tension is given by T maximum that one equals either at support A or at B here VA square plus H square that one equals 200 square plus 250 square that one is 320.16 the inclination of this theta equals tan inverse of Va by H Va by H that equals tan inverse of Va that is 200 by 250 then this one equals that is tan inverse of that is the angle of inclination then second one is the minimum tension minimum tension occurs here this one is maximum tension this one is t max this one is va this one is h this angle is theta then minimum tension minimum tension usually at central portion at c there is no vertical shear then the minimum tension occurs at C that is VC equals 0 no vertical shear SC equals therefore SC equals T minimum that one equals 250 kilonewton then after knowing the minimum tension now we have to calculate that is length of the cable length of cable l equals lc equals that is l plus gate h square divided by 3l that gives us 20 plus gate into 4 square divided by 3 into 20 that one is 22.133 meters. Yeah, this is the solution for the above problem. A suspension cable having supports at same level has a span of 30 meter and a maximum dip of 3 meter. The cable is loaded with a UDL of 10 kN per meter throughout its length and the concentrated loads of 10, 30 kN and 90 kN at middle third points find the maximum tension in the cable and also the length of the cable. Here this one is the total length is 30 meter and you have to refer the diagram, refer the figure. here. This one is subjected to UDL of 10 kN per meter over the entire length. In addition to UDL, it is subjected to two point loads. One is 90 kN and another one is 30 kN. 
एट मिडल थर्ड पोर्शन मिडल थर्ड पोर्शन दिस वन इज नाइंटी किलो नोटन एंड दिस वन इज थर्टी किलो नोटन फर्स्ट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट सपोर्ट रिएक्शंस वी ए बाय टेकिंग मोमेंट्स ऑफ ऑल द फोर्सेस अबाउट ये यू विल गेट समेशन ऑफ एम एक्वल्स जीरो दैट इज वी बी इंटू थर्टी द टोटल स्पैन इज थर्टी मीटर दैट वन इज एंटी क्लाक वाइज मोमेंट एंड रिमेनिंग मोमेंट्स आर क्लाक वाइज मोमेंट्स सम ऑफ द क्लाक वाइज मोमेंट इक्वल्स सम ऑफ द एंटी क्लाक वाइज मोमेंट मोमेंट टू टू ओडियल दैट इज टेन इंटू टोटल स्पैन इज थर्टी दैट वन इज एक्टिंग एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ हाफ ऑफ थर्टी हेन्स थर्टी टेन इंटू थर्टी स्क्वेर बै टू then due to the point load that is 90 into distance is 10 meter this distance is 10 meter all the moments are clockwise 30 into this distance is 20 then this reaction vb equals vb equals that is 200 kilo newton then here to calculate va you can apply the second equilibrium equation summation of v equals 0 or summation of mb equals 0 here va plus vb equals 300 that is 30 into 10 span is 30 intensity is 10 plus 90 plus 30 then this one equals 300 plus 90 plus this is 420 kilo newton therefore va equals 420 minus 200 that one is 220 kilo newton here after getting the value of va and vb now we will calculate the horizontal force that is summation of h equals 0 you will get both h a and h b are equal to h then to calculate that we will calculate the moments of all the forces about c that is either you may consider the left part or the right part either the lhs or rhs then h a h into the central rise central dip that is h equals 3 meter then h into 3 that one is anti clockwise moment plus va va is that is va equals 220 that is clockwise 220 into 15 that one is clockwise due to udl that is that is anti clockwise this one is clockwise this one is anti clockwise 10 into 15 square by 2 due to udl in addition to that there is a point load that is 90 into distance from c is this point is c that is 90 into 5 this total distance is 15 15 minus 10 that is 5 that one is also anti clockwise then the summation of all these forces equals zero therefore h equals 575 kilo newton after simplification you will get the value of the horizontal reaction at support a and b now we want to calculate the maximum tension maximum tension usually the tension is maximum at the support that is at a or b T maximum equals that one is T maximum equals root of V A square plus T A square or A square then that one equals two twenty square here the reaction at A is more since the load is non symmetrical. it is non symmetrical loading if the udl is alone is acting then it is symmetrical but here in addition to udl two concentrated loads of 90 kN and 30 kN are acting here the maximum reaction at the support in vertical direction va is maximum that is 220 
pb is 200 hence the tension maximum tension occurs at support a that is given by root of a square plus a square that one equals 575 square under the root then the maximum tension equals 615.65 here the maximum tension is 615.65 kilo newton now theta equals that is inclination of that one is tan inverse of Pa by H that one is 20.93 degrees with horizontal here this one is Va this one is HA or H then this angle is angle of inclination this is theta this one is angle theta this one is T maximum at A support A then TB equals TB at B that one is here PB plus VB square plus HB square that one is 608.79 kilo newton then the length of the cable here by observing both the tension at supports TA is maximum that is at support A then length of the cable length of the cable is given by length of cable that one is L plus 8H square divided by 3L that one is 30 plus 8 into 3 square divided by 3 into 30 that one is 30.80 meters this is the length of the cable okay we will continue in the next video